welcome to Beautiful You, a show that's designed to inspire, motivate, and empower you to be your authentic best. We invite you to join us on this journey of self-discovery, and we hope that over the next 30 minutes you find just one thing that will remind you that to be truly beautiful, you just have to be you. Coming up on today's show, we sit down with Dr. Jeffrey Edelglass from Smooth Solutions to find out how to achieve silky summer skin. And Holly Nicholas teaches us exactly how to do tax season pain-free. Then we pop into the hair bar where I learn how to create one of my favorite looks from the runway. But first, let's get a lesson on exactly how to get flat stomachs from Doug Rice at Boot Camp 90210. Summer's coming and everybody wants to have flat abs. Well, I don't know how to get it, so here's our fitness trend of the day. I'm here with Doug Rice. He's a certified personal trainer, and he's going to get us ready for summer. Hi, Doug. Hello. I'm so excited. All right, what, what do you recommend for those great flat abs? Well, we're going to do something today. It's, it's kind of fun. It's got a fun name, even. Oh. Spider-Man Climbs. Oh, my God. Spider-Man Climbs. Yes, yes. Spider-Man Climbs. Now, oh, cool. we're not going to do, like, typical crunches and sit-ups. This is something that takes a little bit more, you know, know-how, but you can do it, for sure. You can do it, Absolutely. and you'll end up with great flat abs like Spider-Man. Well, yes, it's, there's, there's some nutrition involved too, but yes, <laughs> absolutely. Okay, now when you work out your front, is that going to work out, the Spider-Man's going to work out the whole area? Yeah, it's, it's, these are core exercises. So yeah, the, the one I'm going to show you right now is for the core, and the Spider-Man climb is one of those great things. So yeah, you, the core includes the lower back and the abs, all that, all that stuff. Love it. All right, show me. I will show you. Okay, so here we go. When you get down on the mat, okay. you just get your hands in the push-up position. Your whole body's in push-up position like this with a nice straight body, okay. and then just bring your foot forward, go to the ball of your foot up here oh my gosh. and then just do it to the other side keeping the core tight throughout you've got to keep a tight a tight core okay there you go like that wow and how long do you do that i would say that you want to do that at least about 30 seconds and work your way up to doing 60 seconds or you could count reps and you could do each side let's say 10 times on each leg so 20 total 20 total mm -hmm. okay yeah. okay Cool. Let's see what okay, you got. Okay, so start in a push-up position. Yes, straight, so straight, straight body push-up position. Nice tight and core. Is there? I mean, because I know a lot of people do push-ups like this with their butt in the air. Now, you don't want to do that. You want to keep your body. You want to have a straight line that runs from head to toe. Okay, head to toe. And then nice tight core. Okay. Okay, so that means you're going to draw the belly button draw back the, toward yep. the spine. Okay. Okay, and you've got a, you got a beautifully straight line there. Okay, now let's go ahead and give a shot. Bring that foot up. Just tap the ball of the foot. Woo! That's it. Without moving the hips around and wow. keeping a nice tight core throughout. You you can, are a pro. You can feel it, You're man. You're going to take my job, ah, Leanne. You're too good. I don't know about that, but I'm sure going to get this flat <laughs> stomach I'm needing. Excellent. Excellent. Oh. Now, try to go a little faster now. You, you got the form down. Oh. So once you have good form, then you can start and go to a, a higher tempo. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful. Look at you. Ah. Superstar, <laughs> superstar. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. Okay. If you would like to check out this Spider-Man crawl or any other of his fabulous moves, check out Doug's website at bootcamp90210.com. That really is a great question. After 30 years of experience at Skintastic, there really isn't a procedure that I enjoy the most. What I enjoy the most is making women more beautiful and men more handsome. The greatest thing that I receive from doing all this is when patients look in a mirror after the procedure and they go, wow, I can't believe I, how good I look. I can't believe how natural my looks are. I can't believe how young I look. I can't wait to get home and show my partner, my husband, my girlfriend. It really gives me a great satisfaction in what I do and how I can make a difference in people's lives. That is by far the greatest satisfaction that I can get. And I see this often from everything to filler, to Botox, to liposuction. Because what I do is only the beginning. Once people feel better about themselves on the outside, 
they do all sorts of things on the inside as well. And we at Skintastic offer a number of programs. We offer nutritional counseling, hormone optimization, and all this helps a patient to look more beautiful both inside and out. When it comes to filing taxes, let's face it, it's a very personal thing. But what are you missing out by not having a CPA? Let's sit down with Holly Nicholas and find out exactly what it means to be prepared. Hi, Holly. Thank you so much for joining us today. Okay, so one of the things that you do that I absolutely love about the way you handle your clients is it's not about taxes. It's about the individual. Talk, tell us a little bit about that. Well, I think the thing about taxes, any, anything that has to do with taxes, is having a relationship with somebody who understands your situation. Mm -hmm. I have so many people come in at the end of the year and they want to file their taxes and maybe the rates have gone up or things have changed and they didn't know it, or maybe they owe a lot of taxes, whatever their situation is, where if you have a relationship with a CPA and you're coming in throughout the year, then somebody can help you proactively save taxes and stay within the law and know what the law is because it keeps changing so so frequently. It really does. You know, that's one of the things I've noticed about the tax laws. I think people get in a rut of they feel like they can do it. They've done mm -hmm. it before. Yeah. It's like jumping rope, but it's really not. How often do tax laws change? Right now, it feels like the tax laws are changing every day, which again makes it very important to have a relationship with someone that you're working with them proactively. But even if the tax laws aren't changing, your situation is changing. Whether you have a business, whether you just have a personal return at the end of the year, or whether something's changed in your family, whatever it is, things keep growing, evolving, changing. So that's what the role is of the CPA, to help you proactively understand your situation, know your situation, and help you to make decisions. And, and also, the thing is to be proactive about your taxes, not reactive and coming in at the end of the year. You want to know what's going on ahead of time. That's true. And, you know, you said something. Being a, a CPA is a very personal, it's a very personal relationship. I see the commercials with you know, the guy who files his taxes and he comes home and then the same mm -hmm. guy who filed his taxes last week is working as a plumber on his sink. And what is it to be, have a personal relationship with your CPA? Honestly, it's, it's coming in and knowing that person and knowing each other and being honest with that person. Sometimes people don't want to tell me something and they don't realize that if they will just tell me everything and let me see their full picture and help me understand them, then I'll be able to help them better. It's like I always say, you can't have a relationship with your computer. You really can't, that's yeah. right. And your, your computer can't ask the right questions to save you the most money. Right, exactly, exactly. And, and the thing is, even when I'm talking to somebody, I really have to tap into how are they hearing my questions. You know, what are they telling me right now? A computer is just, you know, box. It, it, yeah, it's, it's yeah. all pre-planned. If they say this, then they must do this. But when you're actually talking to someone in person, on the phone, however it is, you actually understand what they're trying to tell you. They understand what you're asking them so that you can accomplish what you're trying to accomplish, which is to save taxes and do it legally and legitimately. Yeah. One of the things I think that people are fearful of is life constantly is changing. Mm -hmm. Who I was five years ago filing taxes is not who I am today filing taxes. Absolutely. So between life changing and the laws changing, mm -hmm. um, it, it's important to have someone that you can talk to. Right. And I love the way that you said that you look at the individual's life, mm -hmm. you know, because in CPA world, if you do this, it, it causes a reaction. There yeah. is something else to handle. Yeah, that's a very good point. It's like, it's it's not about, oh, okay, I know the law and the law says this. It's that, okay, if I look at your situation and you do this, then what's gonna happen over here? It's about the full picture. It's about the long-term plan. It's I love not about that. just the one year. I love yeah. that. It's a holistic look mm -hmm. at your life, your taxes, and your money, right? Exactly, exactly. Oh my gosh, so uh, you coined the phrase, do you know where your money is? Uh, do you know no. where your money is? And that's, I love that. Tell us a little bit about that. 
Um, I've had that for a long time because people would come into my office, it's very simple, and they would be sometimes in tears and saying, I made so much money last year, but I have nothing to show for it. And that's from a tax and a financial planning standpoint. I don't have anything to show for it. Or else they would say the opposite, which is, I didn't make a lot of money last year and I owe a lot of taxes. I don't understand. And it all came down to that you can do reports and profit and losses and you can go into software and put your numbers in there, but people don't really know where their money's going. They don't really grasp how they're spending it and what's happening and how come they made this money and they don't have the retirement plan and, and being able to balance all of that. To me, it's all about balancing that. It is about balance. So what do you recommend to your clients who come to you and say, where did my money go or where did this money come from? What do you say to them? Well, from a software perspective, we use a lot of things like the QuickBooks, but I really think my best clients and, and meetings where I feel like I've actually changed somebody's situation and helped them to understand really comes from the conversation. It's so once I have the information and I do it, then it's about showing them like, here, this is what's going on. This is what you're doing. And then if you tell me what you want to accomplish, then I can help you accomplish that. On an individual level. How do you think someone should go about finding the right person to help them with that? Well, most of my business, almost all of it is from referrals. A lot of people do find me on the internet. So I think it's just like with anything else, people are going to want to use somebody that somebody that they, they trust uses. True. So. Do you find that women have a tendency to refer you more than men? Um, I don't know if that, that might be a 50-50 thing with me, uh, you know, I don't know that there's necessarily a correlation there, but I do work with a lot of women and a lot of businesses that are owned by husbands and wives that are running those businesses together, so a great deal of the time I'm working with the woman, it just, it just turns out to be maybe my practice where I'm working with them on the financial side or on the accounting side. Yeah, yeah I noticed that in most um, husband and wife run businesses, the husband's out doing the business, mm -hmm. but the woman's doing all the book work. She's doing all of the other stuff. That's right. Yeah, definitely. And, and that's, I don't know if it's a stereotype, but that's definitely what I see a lot of. Yeah. I love that. And I love that that's got to be very empowering for that woman who, mm -hmm. you know, it can be over... Taxes can be either overwhelming yeah. or not. And I think it all depends on who you have to talk to about. Right, right. What do you say to somebody who feels like they're just overwhelmed? They just need to get the right CPA. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love that. So what do you say to people who call you up on April 1st Right. And, and go, oh my gosh. Well, it, it is tough when a lot of people come in at the last minute because, you know, we have to do our job right. We want to do our due diligence. We want to have time. So I do tell people over and over again every year, you don't have to come in April 1st just because you don't want to file or pay until April 15th. And one of the things that we did a few years ago, which really changed everything for us, is we went paperless. So we have an incredible paperless system. And with the way audits go nowadays and having to keep everything, you can scan something or fax it or send it to us and we can drop it into our paperless system. So no more files, no more filing cabinets. No we more have bins everything. full of paperwork. Yes, you get audited, <laughs> we already have your receipt. So keep it easy on yourself and send the stuff over and you know meet with your CPA at least once in the year, midway through the year, and then you'll have all your records together, and it doesn't have to be that painful. So honestly, you could send in three months worth of stuff at a time, Absolutely. and then by the time April 1st did come around, you're not so, oh my goodness. Yes, yes, because people pile it up in their houses, and then they bring it all in <laughs> in the shoebox. It's like, it's not necessary. The times have changed. All right, Holly, if people are, let's say, in a pickle, or maybe they're not, how do they find you? Just go to my website and uh, give me a call. Terrific. What else do you do besides CPA? I do financial planning. That's kind of my passion, bringing those two things together. That actually works. They do works. go hand in hand. They do go hand in hand. I love that. Terrific. Yeah. Thank you so much, Holly. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you. All right. So there you have it. Whether you wait till April 1st or you don't, it's all about a personal relationship with your CPA. Adrian, Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. I'm so happy that you came into the hair bar today. I love it. I've been dying to try this out. Well, we're happy to have you here. So, show me something fun and cute. I, Gina says you have some amazing stuff. I will, yes. Today, I'm going to be doing a look that we saw a lot of on the runway, and it's okay. going to incorporate a braid that's 
a headband on your hair, made with your own hair. Oh, very cool. So it'll be really fun, and I think it will look great with your sleek, straight look. Perfect. Oh, well. cool. I can't wait to see how you do it. So first... And this is something that I can recreate at home. Absolutely, okay, yes. Okay, cool. I'm going to do it with a side part. Okay. So I'm just going to brush your hair over to one side. And then I'm just going to take... I'm going to... Here, I'll hold him. I'll hold him Perfect. down. Perfect. I'm just gonna take a little section up and I'm gonna grab like a little, just like a square, just like a little pinch full of hair. Okay. And then I'm just gonna braid that, just like a three strand braid. A normal. A normal just... braid, yep. And all you're really gonna need for this is a little rubber band and maybe one or two bobby pins. Okay. Rubber band for the bottom of the yes. braid. That is so cool. And it would even be cute if you wanted to, to do like two. You could do two on top of each other and have two braids going. That would be so it's just cool. going to go right across your forehead like that um, bohemian style mm -hmm. headband that's really on trend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought I saw one where someone had used a ribbon in one too, like they braided a ribbon yeah. in their hair. Yeah, you see cool. that a lot too. This is nice. You get to learn something new and try something different, you know? Right. Especially if you don't know what to do. It's a great place to come by and just try something out. And so the bigger of the section you take, the wider your braid's going to be. Okay. Um, I think it's also really cute. Like, I've, I've taken a smaller section here. But it's also cute to kind of, like, piece, it, piece the braid out a little bit and make it a little bit messier. And how do you do that? Do you just, by pushing up, pulling once up Once you on get it, it, yeah, once you get it rubber band, and then you would literally just kind of pull apart. Okay. And it just makes it a little bit wider. And kind of rough it up with your fingers. And then you can take like a, um, a pomade, if you have one, like we use Kevin Murphy. Um, okay. This is their flexible hold pomade, just take a little bit and you can rub it in your fingers just to kind of go over it and get, a, get down any of those flyaways. It gives the hair some shine as well. Okay. So once you have it braided, you're just going to wrap it around. Oh, how cute! And I really do have flyaways. And I think it's cuter if you push it up just a little cute. bit. And then I like to put it underneath hair so that hair is going to cover up the headband and the bobby pin. Okay. So sort of like what you did here. Don't right. start on the outside. Yeah, don't start right Go on the underneath. part. Do it a little bit underneath. Cute. That way you have hair to bring over. And then you have a little headband. And then I like to finish off with a little bit of hairspray just to help get down any mm -hmm. flyaways. And we use the Kevin Murphy Session Spray is amazing because it's humidity resistant. Yeah. It's a good hold. That's gonna last you all day. So isn't that fun? That is so cute and that's perfect for summer. Perfect. I love it, thank you so much. You're so welcome, thanks for coming in. <laughs> love it. Dr. Edelglass, thank you so much for letting us come out and talk to you today about laser hair removal. I mean, the summer's coming, and let's face it, everybody wants a nice smooth skin. Where are some of the places that you can laser hair remove? I'm excited that the summer is coming, and we do a lot of hair removal to help people get ready for the summer. The areas that we do really differ from men to women. Okay. Women, the number one area is probably the bikini area. Mm, I know, bikinis are already hanging in the stores. Absolutely. <laughs> I passed by the other day and I saw all sorts of swimsuits. And you know, you, you really, it's nice if you just don't have to worry about it. If you go somewhere and someone says, hey, I've got an extra swimsuit, and you're like, ah, I didn't bring a razor, you're prepared. Absolutely. The second most popular area is under the arms. Oh, I love that because sundresses and sleeveless dresses, I know I'm not alone in this when you wave and you go, oh, did I or didn't I? So that That's exactly true. You it takes all the fun out of it if you have to worry <laughs> if about you're having, it. If you're waving <laughs> like this, it's a big difference. And the third most popular area for women is a lot of the little facial hairs above, oh. above the lips, 
uh, all around the face, sometimes on the chin. These are the three probably most popular areas that women like to be half free. I love that. Now they also love their legs done, I know. Legs is a big I, area. Yeah, I'm, all oh. of my girlfriends have had laser hair removed on their legs and I'm always like, I'll be right there, I've got to shave my legs. And they're like, get laser hair removal. <laughs> well, uh, you know, that's why we're called Smooth Solutions because we specialize in solutions to make women smooth on their legs, on their face. So we have people coming in for parts all across the body. And speaking wow. about laser hair removal, we also do men. You know what? I have actually heard and read a lot of topics lately about men coming to get laser hair removal. Well, we call that manscaping. Okay. And you know, men were always behind women in doing things. Everything. <laughs> but, but now there's so many. <laughs> Sorry, had to throw that in. <laughs> but now men are catching up and men want what women have, smooth, well, glistening they, bodies. Yeah, and they want the care of not having to care so much about what they do. I understand that. Absolutely. So some areas that men do are, the, are their necks. Oh, okay. So like underneath, so that when they're shaving, they don't have to shave all the way. They're shaving less. Right. Their right. shirts feel better. They don't have to shave their entire neck. The back of the head on the back oh. of the neck is a very popular area as oh, well. Oh, I, I bet that makes their haircuts look fresher longer because I've seen my boyfriend get haircuts and then he grows it on his neck and it, you just need to shave it off. And this yeah. always looks sharper and it fresher. It does, it looks cleaner. Another area men like is underarms as well. Really? Okay. I could see I could see men maybe lasering their chest. Uh, I, th <laughs> I think that's another good area. A lot of men look like that clean contour hey, of a clean, glistening chest. I mean, not just men like that. A lot of women like that, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be sure to, to tell men that you like that as well. I'm telling you, not just me. All my girlfriends, too. Okay, so let's talk about the process, because I understand that you don't just go once and the hair is gone. We need to make several appointments, right? Well, that's why it's so important to start now before the summer's in full force because laser hair removal is done in a series. And the reason it's done in a series is hair grows in cycles and we can only hit it when it's in a certain cycle. Okay. The laser is very specific for the hair and its growth cycle and that's when the laser works best. Excellent, so hair actually, like you'll grow a strand of hair but then you'll grow another strand of hair in the same spot. So it's different, literally different cycles of hair growth. Well, it's not necessarily in the same spot. It's really next to it and there are different cycles. That's oh. why it takes a number of, of, sessions. of yeah. sessions. And that's also why laser hair removal, you may need a touch up in a couple of months or a couple of years because new hair will always grow. Love that. The good thing about being laser hair specialist is that we can treat men and women of any skin type. Oh, that's wonderful because I know, I've actually had a couple of girlfriends who have said, well, I'm not a candidate for laser hair removal because of my skin color. And that's not true with Smooth Solutions. That's great that you guys can handle all skin types. But who is a good candidate then for laser hair removal? Is it, it's not skin color, it's hair color. That's right. We at Smooth Solutions, we're able to do all skin colors. And that is really something that a lot of people don't do. Where we do have not as good results mm -hmm. is in people who have gray or very, very light blonde hair. This mm. is because the lasers we use use melanin as a target. Melanin is what makes hair dark. Okay. And if you don't have dark enough hair, the laser won't hit it as much as we would like. Okay, so it, the, the laser targets the color, the melanin in the hair. That's exactly okay. right. So we like to do people who have darker hair. Yeah. And they get better results. That's why we have people come in for free consultation. So in the consultation, you'll pretty much find out how many series you'll need for each specific area that you might want to do. Right, and some people start off with one area. Some people want to do multiple areas while they're there. Uh, it's smart, I hear you. I think that's great. Well, what a great way to have a perfect summer and not make any worries when you wave. Ab <laughs> absolutely. And some people like to combine the hair removal with other procedures. I love that. So free consultation, hair free for summer, um, I'm trying to see the downside of all that and I can't find any. Well, I don't think there is never a downside. That's why 
you, people should come in and get their smooth solutions as soon as they can. I love that. Now tell us where exactly is Smooth Solutions located? Smooth Solutions is located in Plano mm -hmm. on Park Road just off the tollway. That's perfect. It's easy access on and off and you're right back home. Easy access. You come in, have your consultation and we can get you immediately started or come back another day for your series. I love that. Now, you guys don't just do laser hair removal at Smooth Solutions. What else do you offer? Well, we, we've noticed from our patients that after they have their laser hair removal... And they, they have smooth skin. They have smooth skin. They really want to get smoother skin or get rid of that cellulite that's oh. now, they can now see. Oh, yeah. So, I could see how with less hair you'd see your cellulite better. <laughs> so now we're offering solutions for that as well. And what we do is a radio frequency procedure to both tighten the skin and decrease the appearance of cellulite for our patients. Dr. I thank you so much for telling us exactly how to get ready for summer, especially when those bikinis start coming out. It was my pleasure. <laughs> my pleasure to have you. Well, if you want to find out more about what Smooth Solutions can do for you, because they do a lot more than we have the chance to talk about, check them out online at smoothsolutionsdallas.com. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this episode of Beautiful You, and we hope that you found just something on this journey of self-discovery today that inspired you. For even more inspiration, go like us on Facebook at Beautiful You HDTV. To find out what's coming up on next week's show, check us out on Twitter at Beautiful You HD. And to see behind the scene pictures, get amazing offers from our guests, and even extended interviews, go to our website at beautifulyou-hdtv.com. We'll see you next week for another episode of Beautiful You. And remember one thing this week, you are beautiful. Don't look